Hey guys, Avisu here and this video will be 2018 in review. Basically, I will share with you guys how I went from zero to almost half a million in sales. And basically, I'll share with you guys the journey, the good, the bad. I'm also going to tell you guys where I'm at right now and also what are my goals for 2019. Also to celebrate New Year, I'm running a giveaway. So the first prize winner will win a 30 minute coaching call and the second prize winner will win $30 to his PayPal account. So all you need to do is like my video, comment on it, subscribe and share my video and also just engage with my content on my Facebook group or Instagram. Uh, the more I see you, the higher chance uh, you'll have. And I'll pick the winner like at random, either from my Facebook group, uh, Instagram or YouTube. So basically you have to stay tuned on all of my social media. Anyways, let's go right back in the video and let's talk about the 2018. Uh, before, before I started dropshipping, you know, it was like from January till May. Um, I was just watching a lot of like dropshipping uh, videos on YouTube. Um, I wasn't really doing much. Uh, I was just watching videos all day and being very, very lazy. Uh, but then I decided to launch my store in uh, May 2018. And I got to $1,000 per day uh, in the first month. Uh, but what happened then is my two winners, uh, they just died. And I basically struggled for the next three months, you know, during the summer. So basically, um, also during the time, I think it was in June or something like June, um, I failed my college graduation exams. Um, and you know, I was just trying to make this work and I was constantly testing products and, um, nothing was basically happening in July and August. I was just not finding any success. Um, at the end of August, um, I, I'm like, I, I managed to pass my college so, exams. So I just graduated from college, um, at the end of August. Uh, but I was still struggling, you know, um, I thought like I ended my college. I'm going to like focus full time. Uh, and really focus hard on drop shipping. Um, but the problem is like for one month, you know, I was testing again, you know, more and more and I was still struggling. I was still struggling. And to the point I, I almost, I almost wanted to, to quit drop shipping. Like I almost wanted to give up, uh, you know, but, uh, around the end of September, um, I noticed that some of my friends that I talked before in like May and June, uh, they became successful. And it really got me like a little bit of motivation and I really decided to really fully commit and go hardcore. And basically what happened is um, I found a winner within like a week or one and a half weeks, I found a winner and I scaled to 186K in October. So basically, you know, in September, I'm for the whole month, I made maybe like 1,000 or $2,000 in revenue, just testing random products, which were not profitable. So, you know, September was like around $1,000 to $2,000 in revenue. And then October, it just skyrocketed to 186K, you know. Um, I wanted to continue scaling um, in November, but the problem is that once I scaled in October, I realized that my uh, supplier was bad, you know. Um, he wasn't shipping products in time. He was lying to me and um, I had to switch suppliers, you know. So um, I listened to some mentors and some people I really looked up to and uh, they, uh, so they recommended me a company, uh, a supplier, you know, a company which is pretty popular in Facebook groups. And um, so I just went with them for September uh, and we, we continue scaling. And in September I made um, 141K around like that. Um, but the problem was that I, fig I found out that the new company they were the same. So basically they were shipping products very slowly. Uh, they weren't being honest, you know, they were lying. And basically um, I had to switch suppliers again because the first supplier, his shipping times were around 30 days, 35 days, you know, basically like they're sending with e-packet, uh, which is around, I don't know, 14 to 20 days. Uh, but the shipping times were 30, 35 days because um, they're, they're like, the, the, the customer would order and nothing would happen for like 10 or 15 days, sometimes even 20 days. And then the supplier would send it like after we would remind them so many times, you know. So basically like both of those suppliers, their shipping times were around 30, uh, 35 days, which customers were very unhappy about, you know, PayPal disputes. Um, also, it, it like basically like we got bad feedback on Facebook. And in December, I had to switch suppliers again, 
you know uh, thankfully this time the new supplier which I started in December was good uh, but December was pretty pretty rough you know because I had bad customer feedback um, basically my account like wasn't in a good standing so I think like my my ads you know uh, were just penalized um, they just like the the cost like really really went up so I was like really struggling um, also it was Q4 so it was even more expensive so in December I made around 100 100k 100 maybe 103k something like that in revenue um, and yeah you know like where I'm at at this point um, is or you know like let's talk let's talk about the good and bad right now so basically um, the good is that I started in May and until end of the year um, I made almost half a million it was 160 something K in revenue um, you know that was that was a huge change uh, I went from a lazy person that just like like wouldn't spend time studying that wouldn't spend time like much working I was really unproductive and I basically went to someone who was working all day you know like when I scaled in October uh, some days I was working like 16 20 hours per day some days I wasn't even sleeping I was just like working all the time you know setting up all the systems dealing with PayPal issues dealing with bank issues um, learning how to scale like learning all the things you know so during September I was just not basically I wasn't really sleeping much you know, I was just working all the time um, but but yeah but still you know um, it was that is like a really good thing you know I was I just learned how to be more um, like hard working you know because before I was just so lazy at everything um, the other the other benefit was that I just really gained confidence um, I'm not saying that I'm a confident person not at all but compared to before you know um, I just really gained confidence um, I just like really feel just feel like more better in my own skin than before you know like before I was like shy on camera now I'm still shy but it's just a little bit better you know it's still progress which is amazing um, I also learned a lot of things about business, uh, about like dropshipping. I learned a lot of things. I also learned a lot about people. Uh, basically, the lesson there was that I shouldn't trust um, that I shouldn't trust people. Um, I thought like a lot of people are trustworthy, like a lot of people that we look up to, like a lot of mentors, um, a lot of YouTubers. But basically, uh, connecting to some of them, I just realized that they're very, very selfish. Um, so yeah, you know, I, I learned a lot of lessons um, with that, so which is really great. You know, I basically went from zero to almost half a million. I learned how to be hardworking. My confidence is way better. Um, I learned more about business, and I learned more about people, and that I basically cannot trust a lot of people. Okay, so let's talk about the the bad then. Um, well, because I was working so much around like sixteen hours, some days like twenty hours per day. Um, it was like very it was very stressful and I was like really overworked um, like why was it stressful is because this was my first time like growing my business first time scaling and I ran into a lot of issues um, because my with my suppliers uh, their slow shipping times caused a lot of unsatisfied customers we got a lot of emails like really a lot like thousands of emails uh, hundreds of disputes um, you know I had issues with PayPal holds you know which uh, everyone runs into when they scale it feels like um, and yeah like this was my first time so it was like all very stressful to manage you know like all those issues hiring people and stuff like that and when I'm stressed um, I just can't really sleep I can't really eat you know so yeah like my health has really gone like my health has really gone bad or like my health has really suffered um, at this moment I feel pretty burnt out so I'll be taking a little bit a little bit more of like I'll try to take a little bit more rest and take it easy um, the other thing about the health is I lost quite a lot of uh, weight so basically um, basically before I used to weigh around 53 54 kilos which is around 120 pounds uh, but since scaling I lost 7 kilos which is around 15 pounds so at this at this moment I think I weighed uh, 47 around 47 kilos um, like with, like without clothes you know because like I'll show you I'll show you a clip uh, I'll show you a clip you know of how much I weigh uh, but basically like without like basically like me I weigh now uh, 47 kilos which is around uh, 105 pounds so yeah my health has really suffered um, 
but I'm also thinking like what was also bad. So I also ran into some issues like basically um, I got scammed by my accountant. Um, yeah, that was pretty bad. I learned my lesson there. Um, you really need to be careful who you work with, you know. Um, also, so what was also bad was I kind of wasted a lot of money, guys. Um, a lot of thing, like a lot of people, they think like um, I would like waste money like on cars or like on luxury or parties, but that's not it. I actually, I actually lost and wasted a lot of money on bad courses and bad mentorships. I think like I wasted around 15k or 20k on those, you know. So really, guys, be careful of like who you buy from, like who's coaching and who's mentorship because I've lost like 15 or 20k you know I was like really dread investing but I found out that a lot of the stuff that's online that a lot of people are putting out is really crap so really be careful of like really be careful who you trust you know because I lost 15 to 20k in bad courses and bad mentorships um, what was also bad so also, what was bad is I tried to outsource basically Google Ads to an agency and they were very, very bad. Um, I kind of like almost like I kind of like lost money with them because like with all the agency fees and what they did, you know, I basically lost money. Um, I'm still in the process of disputing them um, because uh, they didn't want to give me a refund, which they promised. So that's in the process as well. Um, I'm not gonna name anyone, so I'm not gonna like I don't wanna have I don't wanna start drama, so I'm not gonna name the bad suppliers, uh, the bad agency, also the bad accountant, you know that I encountered. Um, I don't wanna I don't wanna start dramas, so I just wanna let you guys know that there are bad suppliers that will cause you so many issues. Um, they are uh, like bad courses, bad coaches. Um, that I personally ran into. I also ran into bad agencies. Um, also, of course, bad VAs. You know, I had to fire two VAs, which were bad. Um, let me think. What else? What else was bad? Um, I think. I think that's basically it. You know, um, like basically that's it. You know, uh, like PayPal issues. I mentioned. You know, I also mentioned some issues with banks because they're freaking out. You know. Uh, like all like when I scaled there was like a lot of money for them and they were just like wondering so yeah guys uh, I went into like a lot of issues um, but I'm not trying to say like like uh, building your business is bad you know actually I, I, I am very grateful that I made all the mistakes and that, that I uh, run into so many issues because all those issues they just like made me a stronger person and also I learned a lot and I learned a lot about people and in the future, when I'll be hiring agencies, uh, suppliers, you know, VAs, or even employees, I'll be much, much more careful. Um, I learned so many mis I, I learned so much by doing so many mistakes, you know. So I'm really, truly grateful for that. And I still think it's worth like building your own business. So like, guys, don't be dis don't be discouraged. You know, uh, it's all part of the journey. Um, a lot of people they just talk about the good you know like all about like how they made money and how they're traveling but I just want to tell you guys show you guys the good and bad sides you know because once you scale you know you're gonna run into a lot of issues and you as a business owner your job is just solving issues and just just you know like going through each of the obstacles and just pushing through you know um, also let me think about where I'm at right now so where I'm at right now. So right now in um, January 2019, so where I'm at right now is I run into issues with Facebook customer feedback, you know. So the thing with PayPal holds, uh, it has been solved, you know. Um, I'm receiving my money back uh, because I'm fulfilling my orders, you know. So PayPal is really great, um, I love them. Uh, even though they caused issues, you know, with the holds, but still, you know, PayPal is great. The issue right now is with Facebook. Um, the thing is, those two bad suppliers in like all my orders like in October and in November I think that is around 7,000 orders or something like that I'm not sure you know basically it was like 186k plus 141k those were all from bad suppliers which you know I have orders from November which like people are complaining about like not receiving you know like I scale I, like I use those suppliers in the beginning of November um, till like around end of November and there's so many orders that 
customers haven't received, you know, and, and I really feel bad about that, you know. I just want my customers to receive their orders like as fast as possible, you know. And with the current supplier, it's around like 15 days, 17 days, um, which is better than before, you know. Um, yeah, but let me think, uh, yeah, because of the because of the slow shipping times, basically, um, Facebook has penalized my ad account and my customer feedback score is right now at uh, 1.3, uh, which basically means that they just made my ads uh, way, way more expensive. Like they lowered the reach, uh, which basically may, made my ads uh, more expensive. When that happened, you know, um, like my ads just weren't spending. Like for, like for one day, it was just like really off. And these days, it's also very off. Like some days, um, I had profit like 39%. Then the other days, I was at, at, at minus 5%. And it was like very inconsistent, you know. Like even, even through Christmas, uh, it was really bad. You know, some days it was just like unprofitable. Some days it was like 20% profit. So it was really off. Um, so I really look forward to like after like the Chinese New Year ends, um, I can scale more again, you know, because before it was like Christmas time, uh, then, you know, uh, it was Chinese New Year's and those are not the best times for, for dropshippers, uh, like you and me, you know? So at this moment, you know, like my store revenue has really gone down. It's around 1k, uh, per day right now. And I'm just hoping that my Facebook uh, customer feedback score will go up because if it continues going down to like one, uh, then my Facebook page will be banned. Um, my ad account will be maybe also banned and also my store domain will be maybe also banned. And I would have to create a new domain and do a lot of stuff, you know. So at this point where I'm at right now is um, I'm just working on saving my store, uh, like my dropshipping branded store. Um, the other thing that I'm working on is um, I'm going to be creating a new store uh, for myself to scale. Um, I also plan on creating a, another store, basically a demo store, which will show you guys a lot of stuff. Uh, everything will be basically transparent. Um, and the, the last project that I'm working on right now is that I have coaching students. So I have several coaching students uh, that I'm working with, you know, so they're also taking a lot of my time and they're also my main focus, you know, so my main focus right now is helping my students grow and also like um, also um, saving my current store. So those are two of my main focuses right now. Um, once everything will be resolved and solved, I'll be also working on a course uh, that will come maybe in December, you know, um, no, sorry, so not December, in February. Um, that will come in around February or March around that time as well. So yeah, this is where I'm at right now. Let's talk about let's talk about 2019. So what are my plans for 2019? So the, the first goal is uh, one million dollars in profit. So that's the that's one of the goals. Uh, the second goal is to get 50 people to to like basically my second goal is to help 50 people get to six figures per month. Um, the third goal is to help 100 people uh, get to five figures per month. And I'm thinking uh, what other goals that I have is that right now I have two companies, basically. I have, um, I have my uh, company for uh, e-commerce. Uh, then I have a company for my coaching business and that, that business will also launch courses. Uh, but what I'm also working on is I'll be creating an, uh, a third LLC, which will be an agency. Uh, but that will come later, you know, uh, that will come maybe in April or May, you know, uh, like once, once everything is solved, you know, uh, once I help people get to five figures, six figures uh, with my coaching students, um, you know, once I uh, launch my course, then I'll be also working on a agency. So basically, you know, those are the goals. Um, you know, guys, uh, let me know, let me know what you guys think about this video. Um, you know, I really, I really recommend you guys to just keep pushing, you know, if you haven't started your business, start it right now. If you're struggling, just keep hustling, you know, um, it's, it's completely normal, like running into issues. It's completely normal. You know, it's your job to solve those issues every day. Um, if you feel defeated, you know, if you feel like you don't know how to solve the problem, um, just ask some people, uh, just try to figure it out, but just keep keep hustling keep pushing um you know i just wanted to say that i really appreciate you i really respect you for 
uh, trying to change your life, you know, and trying to help, like by changing your life, you know, you'd also help your family, right? So I really, I really appreciate you that you're trying to do something with your life and that you're taking action and that you want to help your people, that you want to help your family, you know, like your, your, your loved ones, you know, there's nothing better than helping people, you know, and I just want to say that I really, really appreciate you, you know, so thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget about the giveaway. Uh, make sure to share with my uh, to share my content. You know, engage with it. And basically, the person that I see the most often in the comment sections on the Instagram or also, you know, like on my YouTube comments and likes, also in my Facebook group, uh, that person will most likely win the coaching call and also the thirty dollars uh, to his PayPal as well. So thank you so much for watching the video. And you know, let's crush 2019. You know. Um, as you guys can see, um, like so much of my growth, it all happened in just three months. And all, like all the growth, you know, like the most of the growth just happened from October till December, you know. So you guys, it's so much is possible, you know. I'm not trying, I'm not trying to like tell you like it's easy, you know, but I'm just trying to show you that it's possible because uh, me personally, I've fa like I've failed for eight years, you know, I've failed since since around 17 you know i tried to build online businesses and i failed for so long and i basically failed for like i failed at everything i failed for eight years at different businesses um i failed to build so um i failed to uh like i failed to build muscle you know i tried uh, i tried you know a lot of times and i just never managed to gain muscle and keep my muscle you know so um you know, um, I was also like very, very shy. I wasn't popular in high school or college. I was quite like a loner, you know. Um, so, you know, if someone like me uh, can see some progress, uh, definitely you can as well, you know. So really believe in yourself, make it happen in 2019.